Well, Scott Woodward was kind enough to talk over some of the plans for the renovation. We, we spoke to him uh, a few weeks back. Here you go. Well, it's one of the most beautiful settings for college football in all of America, but Husky Stadium, Scott, needed some work. This is something you guys have to do. Yes, there's no doubt about it. The, the bowl of the stadium essentially is the original 1920 structure, and we're having erosion underneath it, and it, it's not a matter of, of, of uh, need. It's a matter of, of, no, one, I should say, it's a matter of need. So it's not going to happen immediately. Plans are in the works, and everything is kind of, the ball is rolling, so to speak. But what's, what's the timeline for everything to be done and the team not playing here for a year? Yeah. So we're going to start construction hopefully in November of 2011 after the 11 season and then play the 2012 season at Quest Field, uh, which we're lucky to have another venue here in Seattle to uh, to play and move our, our season for the entire season. So it's a 20 month project. We'll play one season at Quest in 12. I was standing on the track uh, during the Syracuse game and a lot of people were wondering what exactly is going to happen. Is the track staying? Is it going? Seats going to move closer? How will everything, I guess, kind of take effect as far as where the field is? in relation to the stands. Yeah, great question, Mike. The field's going to drop about four feet and the track's going to be removed. So the stands will be, essentially, the, the first row of seats will be halfway where the track is right now. So in lane four is essentially where the first row is going to be. Better sight lines, also kind of part of this project, getting people a, a better view of, of the action? Same sight lines from the upper decks, but different than and better sight lines, obviously, in the bowl. You know, we're not going to have these bad vantage points in the west end zone. We're going to have very, very good tight uh, a view uh, uh, vantage points from all areas in the lower bowl. Now we're here in the west end of the stadium where we're talking right now. What all is going to take place beneath us? Where, where yeah. are we standing? Great question too. Um, this is going to be currently, uh, you know, it's it's the west end zone of the stadium is going to come in, and we're going to have our football operations center, which is going to be a 70,000 square foot, all combined weight room, training room, coaches' offices, and meeting rooms, all in one facility. Uh, that that we're going to have a, a, a great uh, need for and, and great use of being right here uh, in Husky Stadium. The one, I guess, iconic part of this entire structure is the tunnel. Yes. The, is that integrity maintained, so to speak, uh, w with this renovation? Yeah, we're, we're discussing that right now in design plans. There's going to be a tunnel, whether it comes straight underneath from the west side or at an angle we haven't decided yet. As you well know, from over here, that's the original tunnel where you right. can see it, and we moved it here, obviously, uh, years ago or decades ago and so we may have to locate it here uh, on this side but that's to be determined. So decades of Husky football history in this stadium I, I, I would imagine more history to come in, in the new one. No doubt and a much better venue for our, our fans and for our current season ticket holders. Scott thanks for your time. My pleasure. So there you have it. It'll be a very different Husky Stadium when the dogs move back there in 20. Well, I think it'll be much nicer, but as uh, Scott said, they're doing a, going to do a very good job of maintaining that Husky field. It's such a spectacular location. Uh, if they'll keep the tunnel, better sight lines, closer to the action for the fans. Uh, the amenities will be upgraded dramatically in terms of concession stands and restrooms, etc. Uh, it's going to be fun to get back there in 2012. Speaking of amenities.